Yes. Indeed. Yes. Begun, as you say. Trap right ahead. Trap right ahead. Yes, of course. You are not quite as callow as I thought. That is... unexpected. You're welcome. I caged myself. A weak mind is a deadly foe, as you are no doubt aware. I came to your lands with seven of the Beresad, my brothers, to seek answers about the Blight. We made our way across the Ferelden countryside without incident, seeing nothing of the threat we were sent to observe. Until the night we camped by Lake Callanhad, they came from everywhere. The earth beneath our feet, the air above us, our own shadows harbored the darkspawn. I saw the last of the creatures cut down, too late. I fell. I am told no others survived. I don't know how long I lay on the battlefield among the dead, nor do I know how the farmers found me. I only know that when I woke I was no longer among my brothers, and my sword was gone from my hand. Perhaps. I searched for it, and when that failed I asked my rescuers what had become of it. I killed them. With my bare hands. I did. I knew they didn't have the blade, they had no reason to lie to me. I panicked. Unthinking, I struck them down. Do your people have no souls as we know them? Convenient for you. That sword was made for my hand alone. I have carried it from the day I was set into the Beresad. I was to die wielding it for my people. Even if I could cross Ferelden and Tevinter, unarmed and alone, to bring my report to the Arishok, I would be slain on sight by the Antarm. They would know me as Solas, a deserter. No soldier would cast aside his blade while he drew breath. If I knew where to look, it would be in my hand now. Near Lake Callanhad. Perhaps those words are empty, but thank you all the same. We're coming here to see the mages, right? Oh, great. They just love me.
You have some kind of problem. Oh? What is this about? How sad it is to see a Grey Warden manipulated. But I have no time to straighten this out for you. Men, let's teach the Grey Warden a lesson about trust. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. The client is very pleased. Come back soon. Well, look at this. I remember taking you across when you left with that fella Duncan. And now you're a Grey Warden. My pap used to tell me stories about them. Templars took the boat. Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester, we got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat, Lissy, named for my grandmum she was. I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic, but the tower's always got something to do with magic. Don't look at me. I told you, I'm not the ferryman no more. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over, but I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. Maybe you could at that. I'm sure your mind's all afire now, eh? I reckon it's good for them mages. Gather them all, learn them some proper magics. I know what they say about mages, but the Maker made them for a purpose. If you can't trust him, who can you trust? Oh, I can't say that. I'm lucky he's good enough to give me the time of day. The first enchanter's all right. He's polite as can be, but he's always a little distant if you get my drift. But Gregor will stay to talk. I reckon he likes hearing from us common folk, you know? 
He's a man to be respected, that Gregor. All right. Keep safe, you hear? It is begun. Ha! <laughs> Water down ale. Damp beds, rickety stools. Why do I Good even day. bother? What are you looking at? Can a man drink in peace? Hey, and welcome to the Spoiled Princess. Is there something I can get for you? It was my father's idea. He ran the inn before me, and he named it for my sister. She was his little princess. Princess decided the country was too dull for her and moved to Denerim. More glamorous, she said. Well, she was found murdered, robbed of all the trinkets my father bought her with his hard-earned money. My father died of shock and heartbreak. Mother stopped eating, and I got the struggling in. The name stuck. That's a story. Of course. What would you like? I shall do it. Back off! I was here first! Why, you looking to buy one? Q what? Well, honestly, I don't have any swords. The spot was picked pretty clean when I got here. I got part of a glove. The wolves didn't chew too badly, though. I think it was a glove, anyway. I know, don't say it. I got cheated. I knew the guy who was here before me. He sold me this spot. Said he found giants and all kind of crazy valuables. He didn't mention that he'd taken everything but the bones and the dirt already. His name's Ferrin. Squirrely little bastard, if you ask me. Which you didn't, but I said it anyway. He was going to Orzammar, he said. I imagine he's gotten there by now. If you find him, tell him I sent you. It'll scare the piss out of him. Ah. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Kill some Darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. Ugh, <sighs> semantics. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go! Uh, is that bad? Look, I'm, uh, just trying to do my job. I'll take you right now, just like you wanted. Come along, I suppose. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. 
The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. I don't have time to entertain visitors. Well, look who's back. A proper Grey Warden now, are we? Glad you're not dead. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. We were too complacent. First Jowan, now this. Don't think I've forgotten your role in Jowan's escape. I suppose I cannot fault you for that, though Irving could have done more to prevent what happened. It set a dangerous precedent. I should have been more vigilant and urged Irving to be more wary. I can only hope that someday Jowan gets what he deserves. But right now I have other pressing concerns. We don't know. We saw only demons, hunting Templars and mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. They took us by surprise. We were prepared for one or two abominations. Not the horde that fell upon us. I will destroy the tower, raise it to the ground. But I cannot risk more of my men. The doors remain shut, and they will protect us for now. We do not mean for the doors to stay closed forever. Everything in the tower must be eliminated. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. Ah, oh, that arrogance hangs about you like some fell cloud, doesn't it? If you succeed, I would owe you much, enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one, until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. Stay away from the tower if you value your life. I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. I certainly hope so. Are you here to trade, then? As I recall, shutting the door and throwing away the key was definitely the Templar Plan B.
Return to the tower? Why did the Templars let you through? Are you here to warn us? I see you still care about the Circle and our tower. Unfortunately, the Circle is in grave danger. You've heard, then. I suppose the Templars would not let you in without warning you first. The Templars have barred the doors. They will only open them if they intend to attack us. Is that what is happening? They sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the Circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. If anyone could survive this, it would be the first Enchanter Irving. It was he who told me to look after the children. It's a long story. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. Petra and Kenan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. Wynne, are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Your confidence is refreshing, though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses. If you are ready, let us go end this. Yes. Indeed. I heard the Templars talking about chasing down a Malefica yesterday. I'm sorry that your homecoming has been marred. Still, it is good to see you back, and I am glad you survived Ostagar. You heard about Loghain. I would never have imagined the Tarn a traitor. Wynn was at Ostagar. She told us everything upon her return. But why speak of things past? Be careful in there, and stay safe. Oh, it's you. I remember you. The tower isn't how you remember it, is it? All right, considering the circumstances. I keep thinking this is our punishment for being mages. That's why the Templars have to to do away with us. No, don't say that. It's not true. You deserve to live just like anyone else. The swords are like the... the sword of mercy that sent Andraste back to the Maker. Andraste only died because of man's foolishness and pride. We need to atone for this. 
We should let the Templars come. Only then can we be cleansed of our wickedness. I will pray. May we abandon our tainted bodies to find peace with the Maker. Your wish? Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? All right. Be on your guard. It is begun. Very well.
Very well. Very well. Shall be done. It is begun. Shall be done. I shall do it.
rather awkward. What? I'm not supposed to be here. Not right at all. Owain's room is near here. I hope he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> 